Okay. Uh, I have a solution for this. <laughs> Crash to desktop issues. And I'm running 15. That's 1.18.15. After a few submissions to Zendesk, um, they replied to me, essentially, the graphics. Um, it's kind of confusing, but I can explain to you essentially. It is um, this step here, essentially resetting the graphics settings. So, so what it says is go into your graphics and change the rendering to low. Click uh, apply. So essentially what it says, uh, the global rendering quality you set it to low you click apply and save and then you go back in and you set it up to whatever you had it before I or ultra or whatever but I had it on customs I changed a few things um, on that but uh, this fixed my crash to desktop issue I'm not sure exactly why but going down to low end puts everything down to a minimum turns off things turns down uh, all the settings and when you save it it kind of clears everything out and then when you bring it back up to your desired settings then save it again apply and save it again and for me that fixed my crash to desktop there are some other issues that they uh, highlighted like if you're unable to uh, interact in the cockpit if you change the cockpit interaction to legacy uh, and I uh, and that is uh, accessibility and you change cockpit interaction systems to legacy then it was like it was before the update um, and if you get used to the new way I, I kind of did it didn't matter to me but legacy seems to work better if you're having problems with the uh, the a32 NX they say to remove it and delete the install and then it will show up as uninstalled and content and then you can load it again uh, crashing and flying in the AI says so turn the turn the AI off and see if that helps helps your problem. So these are troubleshooting uh, steps. This is what worked for me from the crash to desktop, and I hope it works for you too. Thank you for watching and have a great day.